Hi guys, how are you? I hope you and your family are doing well. So today I'm gonna talk a little bit about section 12.1. I'm gonna try to make a short video, uh, not too long, uh, to talk about this uh, section. So it's uh, it's about three-dimensional uh, coordinate system. So first, let me remind you what's a one-dimensional coordinate system. Well, a one-dimensional coordinate system means basically you have only one axis. So you have only the number line. So that's uh, your uh, your x-axis, right? So on the number line, of course, is uh, the origin. That's zero. So we have the origin. So the origin is zero, right? And you only have one axis, which is the x-axis. Okay, so this is my x-axis. Okay, and to describe a point, so to describe a point, we only need actually one number right so for example this is the point x equal to two okay so we need only one number to describe a point so we need only one number that's the x coordinate right let's call this number uh, x zero okay so here in my example x zero is equal to two and to measure the distance from the origin, so what will be the distance between two and zero? Well, there are two units between two and zero, of course, so the distance is just two. And actually, uh, because the distance is always, you know, it's, uh, it's a positive or zero, it cannot be negative, right? So that's why we're gonna take the absolute value. So to, the, to measure the distance from the origin, we just take absolute value of x zero, right? Absolute value of x zero, that's the distance uh, from the origin. Okay, so for another example would be if you take negative three. So what's the distance between negative three and zero? Well, it's not negative three because distance must be a positive number, right, or zero. But So if you take the absolute value of negative three, that would be positive three. So that's the distance from the origin. Now, if you have, now in the case of two-dimensional, uh, coordinate system. So of course now we're gonna have because it's well it's two dimensional. So uh, we're gonna have two axes. We're gonna have the x axis and the y axis. Okay, and of course we're gonna have again the origin. So the origin is is given described by a zero by the by two numbers, right? Zero zero, right? That's the origin. It's zero zero, right? <clears throat> now. Uh, of course, we're going to have two axes, the x and y axis. Okay, and now to describe a point, so let's say this is a, this point here. To describe this point, I need, I'm going to need two numbers, right? I'm going to need the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So to describe a point, so we need uh, two uh, coordinates. Okay, so for example, here let's say this is the point to one. It means the x coordinate x zero is two, and the y coordinate y zero is one. Okay, so we need two coordinates x zero y zero. Okay. Uh, now, in case of three-dimensional coordinate system, okay, so now we're going to have three axes, not just two, but three axes, okay? That's why it's called three-dimensional coordinate system, because we uh, actually we have three axes. Of course, there's the origin now. Now it's described, so the origin because it's three-dimensional, 
So the origin is actually zero, 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 right? So here we're gonna have the axis. So here you have the x axis, the y axis, and the height, z. That would be the, so that's the, the z axis. So we're gonna have the axis, y, x, y, uh, z axis. Okay. Now to describe a point. We're gonna need three coordinates. Okay, so I'm gonna need three coordinates. Okay, so let's say here you have a point. Well, let's let's say this is the point one, two, three. Okay. So then the x coordinate is a 1, the y coordinate is 2, and the z coordinate is 3. So we're going to th need three coordinates x0, y0, z0. Okay. So what's x0? Well, x0, that's, that's this distance along the x axis from the origin. So that's the distance along the x axis. from the origin. Okay. Now the y0, that's the distance along the y-axis from the origin. And the same here for z. So the z0, okay, that's the distance along the z-axis from origin okay so for example so let's say here is my x this is my y here's my z okay so let's say you have the point so let's say you have the point one, two, three. So what does it mean to have this point one, two, three? So if you want to plot this point one, two, three, well, it means first, so one, that's the x zero, that's the x coordinate, uh, two, that's the y coordinate, and three, that's the z coordinate. So if uh, the x coordinate is one, it means you have, so you go here, one unit along the x-axis okay so here's one one unit along the x-axis and then you need to uh, go two units along the y-axis so here's my two units along uh, the, the y-axis and then okay here's my two units along the x-axis and then i need to go three units up so that's three units along the z-axis. So here's three units along the z-axis. So three units up, right? And so I can get now my point. So that will be the point one, two, three. Okay. So again, this is like similar to the two-dimensional case, right? So in the two-dimensional case, um, you know, uh, two-dimensional. So you have, uh, in the two-dimensional case, you have two axes, right? X and Y. So when you say you have the point one, two, so what you do is you go, you know, one unit, you go one unit along the X axis, right? This is my X axis, this is, there's Y axis, one unit along the X axis, and then two units and then two units along the, uh, the y-axis. So then you get the point one, two. Okay, so here's your point one, two. Here's the same. If you say you have the point one, two, three, it means you go one unit along the x-axis, two units along the y-axis, and then three units along the z-axis. And then so you get the point one, two, three. 
of course this so if you have a negative coordinate so we have to go in the opposite direction right so uh, etc now now let me just talk about the um, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, surfaces okay. uh, in the three in the three-dimensional uh, coordinate system so if you have a two-dimensional coordinate system right you have only two um, you know we have two coordinates x and y so we have only you know two variables x and y right x and y okay so if you say x is equal to zero what's x is equal to zero if you have uh, two uh, coordinates x and y so if you say x is equal to zero well x is equal to this zero it describes describes a line right that will be x is equal to zero that's actually the y-axis this is x is equal to zero it's the y-axis because any point which lies on the x and on the on the on the y-axis, the x coordinate is zero, right? If you take this point here, the x is equal to zero. The x coordinate is zero. If you take this point here, same x coordinate is zero. Okay, etc. So any point which lies on the y-axis, the x coordinate is zero. So that's why when you say x is equal to zero when you have a two-dimensional coordinate system, that's actually a line it's a line okay it's actually the y-axis okay and if you say y is equal to zero okay well y is equal to zero that will be the x-axis right that's a line And that will be the x-axis, okay, here, this line here. Now, if you have, let's say, the equation y uh, plus x equal to 1. Well, y plus x is equal to 1 uh, means that y is equal of course to 1 minus x right and uh, one y equal to 1 minus x that's again it's a line it's a line okay so actually it would be this line here um, this line here so this is the line y equal to 1 minus x okay last example uh, if you have the equation x squared so again we are still in the two-dimensional coordinate system so if you have x squared plus y squared equals to 1 for example well that will be this uh, the circle of radius 1 right that's a circle circle of radius 1 Now, in the three-dimensional coordinate system, okay, if you say, uh, so now we have, uh, you know, three axes. We have x, we have y, and we have z. So when you say x is equal to zero, so the question is, which points or let me change the equation. Instead of x is equal to zero, let's say you have the equation uh, z is equal to zero, okay? So if you say z is equal to zero, so the question now is which uh, points satisfy z uh, equal to zero? So z is equal to zero means that the height, again, z describes the height of the point, right? Basically, it's the height. So it's So when you say z is equal to zero, it means the height 
of the point is zero. So imagine you have this z-axis. So now the question, which points they have uh, the height equal to zero? Well, there are actually plenty of points with height equal to zero. So here, so if you take this, this uh, plane here, Okay, so in this plane, any point which lies on this plane, actually uh, the z is zero, the coordinate z is zero, the height is zero, right? So z is equal to zero, it actually describes, it doesn't describe a line, but it describes a plane. It's a plane. Okay. And it's actually called the xy plane. Called the xy plane. Okay. Again, z is equal to zero. That's the set of all points with the height z is equal to zero. So that's actually this whole red plane here. Okay. Now, if you say, um, x is equal to zero. Okay, so we have this is x here, this is your z, this is your y. So what will be the uh, the plane x equal to zero? Well, uh, actually any point which lies on this plane here, the x coordinate is zero, right? Because we um, here, if you take any point here, the x coordinate would be zero. So that's x is equal to zero. Okay. So x is equal to zero is a plane. Describes a plane. Okay. And actually it's called the y, z plane. Same, if you have the equation y is equal to zero, well, y equal to zero would be this plane here, this one here. Okay, so here, y is equal to zero. Okay. Uh, now, a different equation, if you have, let's say, uh, x, plus y plus z equal to one, okay? This is also a plane. It actually is a plane. Okay, so it's gonna be some plane here. Actually, it's hard to draw this plane, but uh, anyway, so it's gonna be something, you know, uh, let's say this is your x, this is your y, this is your z. So when you say x plus y plus z is equal to one, that will be the equation of some plane. Okay, so it's gonna be, let's say, uh, this plane here. Okay, some plane here. Okay. Now, if you have x squared, plus y square equal to one. Remember x square plus y square equals one. If you have two dimensional coordinate system, right? That will be a circle. But now we have three coordinates, right? So this is my x, this is my y, this is my z, okay? So in this equation here, there's no z. So the z can be any number, right? Because uh, there is no z in the equation. So, for example, when the height z is zero, x squared plus y squared equal to one, it would be a circle, right? So we're gonna have a circle here. When the height z is, is one, we're gonna have another circle. Okay. So if you fix the height z, then you're gonna get a circle. X squared plus Y squared equals to one would be a circle if you fix the height. Okay, so for each height z, you get a circle. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be just a bunch of circles, right? 
So circle over another circle, etc. So it's just a bunch of circles. And if you connect all these uh, circles, okay, well, it's gonna be a cylinder. So x squared plus uh, x squared plus y squared equals one. In the three coordinate system, it's not just a circle; it's a bunch of circles, right? For each height z, you have a circle, so it's actually a cylinder. Okay. Now another a different equation. If you have now let's say x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to one. Okay. Well, so here we have all the three coordinates x, y, z, right? So x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals one. Actually, that will be a sphere. So here's your x, this is your y, sorry, this is your z, and here's your x-axis. So when you say x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to one, you get a sphere, like a ball, you know. So you get like a ball here. Okay, so it's a, a sphere. Or a ball, a sphere of radius, of radius one. Okay. So this is is a sphere. Okay. Again, a sphere. That's the collection of points which satisfy this uh, equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to one. For example, uh, one zero zero. So if you take one, one square plus zero square plus zero square, that will be equal to one. So that belongs to the sphere. To our sphere. Okay, you can take also the point, for example, zero, one, zero. You can take the point zero, zero, one, etc. So all these points, they belong to the sphere, okay? Okay, now next, um, let me talk about the distance between two points. Distance between points. Okay. So first, let me just start with the two-dimensional. Let me just remind you uh, the, the two-dimensional coordinate uh, uh, system. So if you have two-dimensional coordinate system, we have only, you know, we have only uh, two axes. This is my x-axis here. This is my y-axis here. Now, let's say you have two points. Here's my first point. Here's my second point. So let's call this point x1, y1. And let's call this point x0, y0. Okay. Now, I want to measure the distance between these two points. I want to measure, measure, measure this distance here, okay, the red, the, the red segment. Now, how can I measure this distance between these two points? Well, the idea is actually to use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so how can I use the Pythagorean theorem? Well, the idea is, you know, I can draw this right triangle here. Okay. Now, what will be, so here we have this, the side A, let's call this side here B. And of course, you have this side here C. So C, that will be the hypotenuse, right, of the right triangle, of our right triangle. Now, what's, what's A? So what's the length of this side here, A here? Well, A, that's the difference between the, the heights uh, Y0 and Y1, right? So A, you see A, A here measure the difference between, so here, this is here, this is y0, and here, this is y1, and so a 
it's just a is just the the difference between y1 and y0 so a the length a is actually equal to y1 minus y0 okay or because it's a length we're gonna need to take the the absolute value now what about b well b is gonna be actually you know b is gonna be the difference between the x coordinates because here so here you have x0 here you have x1 so b is just the difference between the x coordinates so b it's actually x1 minus x0 okay so then the hypotenuse c because of the pythagorean theorem remember pythagorean theorem says c square is a square plus b square right so then c is c square uh, c is square root of a square plus b square okay so then the distance so we are looking for you know for the distance c right the hypotenuse so the distance then c would be equal to square root of a square so that's y1 minus y0 square plus x1 minus x0 square okay so that's in case of the two-dimensional coordinate system okay so now for the three-dimensional coordinate system of course now we have you know the axis x y z and we're gonna have two points so we're gonna have x1 y1 z1 okay so z1 here and then here we have x0 y0 and z0 and we want to measure the distance between these two points so we're going to measure this segment here well distance you can guess that will be like sort of a generalization of the two-dimensional uh, case right so it's again it's just a Pythagorean theorem and uh, using the Pythagorean theorem again okay so then actually uh, uh, you end up with so the distance uh, between x1 y1 z1 and x0 y0 z0 is well also gonna be again square root of uh, x1 minus x0 square plus y1 minus y0 square plus z1 minus z0 square okay and uh, for example let's say you want to measure the distance between let's say the points uh, 1 to 3 and uh, 2 3 4 okay so then uh, by the using the formula so the distance would be so it's going to be equal square root so we have first x1, again, the points are, let me just remind you the points here. So the points are 1, 2, 3, and 2, 3, 4, all right? So the formula would be, so x1, so here, 1, 2, 3, that's x0, y0, z0, 2, 3, 4, that's x1, y1, z1. So it should be x1 minus x0, so that's 2 minus 1 square plus uh, y1 minus y0, 
So that's t minus 2 squared plus z1 minus z0. So that's 4 minus t squared. Okay, so that will be square root of uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 square. 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square. So that's square root of 1 plus 1 plus 1. So that will be square root of 3. So that will be the distance between 1, 2, 3 and 2, 3, 4. Okay. Um, anyway, guys, so I'm going to stop here. Uh, and um, uh, there are more examples uh, in the lecture notes. So please check, check out the lecture notes. And I'm going to post also, I guess, another extra video with uh, more examples. Uh, see you uh, next time.